Okay, does anyone else feel like January should not be the month where we go so hard on our goals and resolutions because it should just be a month of rest and recovery because it is the month right after the three major holidays squished into like a month and a half. So yeah, I just feel like January should be just a rest and recovery month and February should be where we start the new year, I guess you can say. So with that being said, I don't wanna talk about my 2024 ins and outs. Um, it is a trend on social media and I love this trend so much because everyone has different ins and outs and it is just so cool to read and they're so random. And so I did one myself. I posted it on Instagram. And if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me there at Kyla Beeland. But I posted it on Instagram a couple weeks ago. And yeah, I thought this is the perfect time to go through it on YouTube if you don't have Instagram and kind of talk more in depth for each one. And I'm so excited because I realized every single one focuses on your health in some aspect or in some way. So this whole thing focuses on your health as a whole, all my ins and outs. But yeah, let's just get right to it. So get comfy. I'm literally in my comfies right now. And I have my bone broth, which I don't think was the best idea because this bone broth that I have has turmeric and ginger and turmeric is very yellow, if you didn't know, and it can stain your teeth. So I do have a straw, but look at that. I don't even know if you can tell how yellow that is, but yeah, I'm gonna sip that, get your favorite drink, and let's just get right into it. I have a lot of ins and not as much outs, but I'm gonna try to quickly explain each one because it is a very long list. First thing on my ends list for 2024 is to be outdoors in the morning and evening. And the reason why I said this is because I notice when I get morning sunlight, and there's studies that show this too, like morning sunlight, and then it's more specifically go outside in the evening. It just helps with your circadian, I said that weird, circadian rhythm. So I'll put up on the screen what that is, but essentially it just helps your body get into routine. It just tells your body when to wake up and when to go to bed because of the sunrise and sunset. So that is something that I really want to be more consistent of. I am consistent of getting morning sun, but not so much the evening sun. Next in is fun and nourishing mocktails. So a couple years ago, I was on a huge mocktail kick, I guess you can say. And I don't know why, I just kind of fell off of it. And now I keep seeing on social media all these super cool mocktail recipes that actually benefit your health rather than just like taste good. I don't think I've ever talked about this before, but I don't really drink alcohol. Literally, maybe once every two years if we're traveling in Europe and of course, if there's wine offered in Italy, of course I might take a little sip, but that is it. Um, but yeah, other than that, I do not drink alcohol. I don't find any pleasure in drinking alcohol and alcohol literally does nothing for your health. So I don't like not being in control of myself and my mind. Next thing on my ends list is no phone two hours before bed. So I've been pretty consistent with that. There are many studies that show the benefits of being off your phone like an hour plus before bed, it preventing blue light. Blue light affects your melatonin production, which then affects your sleep quality and so on and so forth. Next thing that I have been doing consistently for years is cycle syncing my whole entire life. So yes, I have videos on how cycle syncing has positively affected my health and fitness journey, but I've never talked about how it has affected my work-life balance, I guess you can say. When I sync my work and certain tasks around my cycle, I just feel like I give myself so much more grace because there's certain times in the month, obviously like your luteal phase, your menstrual phase, where I feel no motivation to work at all. And now that I understand my body and what it's going through during those phases, I give myself so much grace and I save certain tasks, like mundane, boring tasks, I guess you can say, for those phases of the month. And so when I'm feeling confident and I'm feeling more energized, I save the filming for the ovulatory and follicular phases. So yeah, just cycle syncing my whole life is definitely a huge end in 2024. So the next end for 2024 is more nonfiction books. 
And it's funny I said that because right now I'm on a huge fiction fantasy kick. I'm not going to say which series I'm reading because I don't want people to spoil it for me. Um, but last year I have read a couple nonfiction books, more like historical and um, like true stories, which is so crazy to read about. But um, yeah, I definitely want to read more nonfiction books just to educate myself a little bit more. Next one is protecting my peace. I am an ex people pleaser. I still feel like I can work on it, but I think I've gotten a lot better with that. There's so many things you can do to protect your peace, but yeah, I just feel like that is so incredibly vital to your health as a whole. When you set boundaries, remove toxic things and toxic people in your life, and doing certain things to protect your peace at all costs because your peace is absolutely priceless. Next one is dry brushing. So dry brushing is amazing for your lymphatic system, also amazing for just like exfoliating your skin. Next one is more spiritual. Um, if you guys didn't know, I'm a Christian, but more Jesus time. We could all use more Jesus time, let's be real. The next N is listening to my body and honoring it. This kind of goes along cycle syncing, but more so like if I feel not in the mood or if I feel like I'm on the verge of getting sick, I need to just listen to my body and honor it by giving the rest that it needs. Or if I'm going through very stressful periods of time, give my body the rest and recovery that it needs and just listening to it and being very in tune with it not just when I'm going through my menstrual cycle, but just so in general, listening to my body and just honoring it. Next in is romanticizing the little things. And I know that sounds cheesy, but this is something that I really pushed, especially on Instagram, is just finding joy in the little things and the mundane things in your everyday life. It seriously changes your perspective. If you want to do something that some people find cheesy, like reading a book outside, watching the birds, and while drinking tea, and listening to jazz music, as cheesy as it sounds, it really can make you feel so incredibly good. So romanticizing the little things is definitely an end for 2024. This one is eating within one hour of waking. That just helps with hormone health, blood sugar balance, all of that. I will do a video on that, but definitely eating within one hour of waking. Next one is preconception health. So I do have a whole video that I did years ago on how I'm preparing my mind and my body for pregnancy. And I'm still doing that, even though we're not currently trying or not planning anytime soon. I'm still doing that because obviously it could happen at any time and I want my body and my mind to be prepared as much as possible. But yeah, preconception health. The next in is being creative when you're bored rather than scrolling, which is something that I do struggle with to be completely honest. Um, actually, the past couple weeks I've gotten a lot better, but last year I noticed that when I'm bored, like, in between like making my dinner for example waiting for the veggies to saute i'm just standing there so i will just go on my phone and scroll social media when i could be doing something else i could be reading a book i could be journaling or doing something else rather than just constantly having to just to scroll on social media it's so healthy for your mind to be able to sit in boredom and not have to be constantly stimulated. And so that is something that I definitely want to work on in 2024. This one is chiropractic care, which is funny because I've never gone to a chiropractor before in my life, but I want to do that in 2024, especially for the preconception health. Next one is keeping the things you cherish the most off social media. So this is something that I've been doing for a while now. Um, funny enough, I've never said this before, but someone brought it up in my DMs. So when I turned 25, and it's so true, the second you turn 25, when they say that your frontal lobe is fully developed, you literally are like a different person. And it's so true. And I'm definitely going to do a video on that. But it's so weird. The second I turn 25, I want to keep the things that I cherish the most, which is my family, my friends, most of all my marriage, off social media. So 
I decided to go on my YouTube and delete every single video that includes Sean in it, um, especially like the Q and A's where we answer some like personal questions and all of that when we were younger. I just, I deleted them. I don't want them on social media. I cherish our marriage and it's something that's very private and precious and personal to me and it doesn't need to be displayed out on social media. So I just think the more you grow on social media and you don't even have to have thousands or millions of followers to come across haters on social media and just bullies. So I know that I, I'm growing every single day and you know the more you grow the more eyes come on your social media i want to keep the things i cherish the most off social media so the next end for 2024 is cheering on your friends is this is something that i've always done i love seeing my friends just have goals i love seeing my friends thrive and be so successful as well i just i love it so much and also i truly believe like you can't be happy and successful yourself if you are not happy and cheering on other people as well because the people who are not happy and are not successful are the ones that are looking down at other people are the ones that are criticizing other people and not happy for other people. So yeah, cheering on your friends. Next one is hiking, which I've done a lot of in 2023. I was supposed to say 2022. 2023, we've done a lot of hiking across the world and I definitely want to do more of it. There's just something about being in nature on top of like the mountain where you feel like you're on top of the world with no access to electronics and just like me and Sean, that's it. It's just, Oh, and of God, of course, but there's just so much beauty behind it. And also hiking is amazing for your health. You get the sun with the vitamin D, you are working out, getting in that cardio. And yeah, it's just, I love hiking so much and I want to do more of it. Next one is the okay and mentality. So I saw this on social media a while ago and I love that mentality. It's the okay and it's basically if someone has an opinion of you or if someone wants to say something to you or wants to be passive aggressive or say a judgmental comment to you, you literally just think in your head, okay, and? Like it literally should not affect you. People are gonna have their opinions. People are gonna judge you regardless of what you do in your life. Next one, embracing my natural hair, which I am doing currently and I am loving my natural curls so much. It has been a journey. I started embracing it over a year and a half, two years ago, and I'm finally, I think, to the point where I'm, it's coming back, I'm understanding it. it it's still a journey, but yeah, embracing more of my natural hair for sure in 2024. Next one is more minerals and electrolytes. I've talked about this before, but if you see that trend where it's like, drink a gallon of water a day, you got to be careful with the type of water because if you're just drinking plain water that has no minerals in it, it's literally doing nothing for your body. It's actually flushing out the minerals that is needed for your health and your body. So making sure that you get electrolytes and proper minerals in your um, in your water is going to benefit your health a lot. Next one, this is the second to last one, but it is trying different fruits and veggies every week. I kind of been doing it in terms of the veggies, but I could try more fruits. And then the last end for 2024 is financial investments for the future. I'm not going to go too much into it, but this is something that Sean and I have been doing since we got married, since we were 19 years old. And I definitely want to continue and grow more into it in 2024. So now let's talk about the outs for 2024. So the first out in 2024 is toxic products and people. I have talked about toxins so much on my social media, so I won't go dive too much into it, but there are so many studies that show toxins and like your everyday products can wreak havoc on your health. And I have firsthand experience in that. So yeah, definitely gonna keep out toxic products and people. Next out for 2024 is following body trends. I wanna talk more about this in a whole separate video because there's this trend on social media, or more specifically on TikTok, and it is so, it's so heartbreaking. There's so many young girls on that app and it's just, we don't, we don't need more toxic 
body trends in today's society, especially for these upcoming generations. So there's this trend, I think it's called the leggings, legs, I don't even know. But it's just like, why does there always have to be a body trend? It's just, yeah, if you're listening to us, do not fall into that. It is incredibly toxic. This is coming from someone who fell for so many body trends and when, you know, I accomplished those body trends, got what I thought was in, it was out and a new one was in and it just leaves you feeling so empty and so just not satisfied with yourself and that is incredibly unhealthy. So no following body trends. Next one, artificial ingredients. I've talked about that before. So like artificial flavors, artificial colors, gums, just artificial, not good. Yeah, again, speaking from experience. The next out for 2024 is unbalanced blood sugar. I have a whole video on that, the, like the benefits of, you know, having good balanced blood sugar, but this is gonna help your health as a whole, especially being able to see results in the gym and your hormonal health and even your gut health and so much more so unbalanced blood sugar is an out next one is sad music i'm very guilty of in 2023 i would listen to so much sad and gloomy music because it's i liked like the beat i guess you can say but not actually listening to the words and i'm a true believer what you put in your body it's gonna go out regardless if I'm talking about foods, toxins and all of that, but also music and what you listen to. Also, listening to sad music when you're sad should be an out because that does not help at all. Next out for 2024 is products slash decor that give no value. I don't know, I just feel like because of social media, more specifically TikTok, so many people are influenced to buy so much unnecessary things and it's just, it's just overconsumption. I just don't, I don't like it. And I feel like you should only buy things that actually, my SD card got filled. But what I was saying is that I just feel like we should buy things that give us value or bring us joy that is actually lasting. You know what I mean? Every single decor piece in my home has either some purpose, has a sentimental value to it, or it was gifted to me. It, I've never bought something with, in this house. I've never bought something that is just, oh, it's trending and it's cute right now and it's gonna be out of style within the next year. Next one is overthinking, which I'm an overthinking girly, to be honest. This is something that I do struggle with. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say other than that overthinking needs to be out in 2024. Next one is being obsessively dependent on my Apple Watch. This is something I'm very guilty with because one, the Apple Watch is actually not accurate. So I don't know why I'm so dependent on it, but like I've come to the point where I, when I go work out and I forget my Apple Watch, I feel literally naked without it. So yeah, I need to learn to not be so dependent on it and just to be able to move my body knowing that it's benefit my health rather than keep looking at the numbers of like how many steps I did, how many calories I burned. <sighs> yeah, Apple watches can be toxic. So the next out for 2024 is guessing and not testing in terms of health. I feel like in social media, especially in this health and wellness niche, a lot of people say do this to help this, but realistically you need to test before you try any other supplements or vitamins and all of that. You never know, you could be taking too much of something. So the second to last out for 2024 is tight hairstyles, which kind of goes hand in hand with the embracing natural hair. Yeah, I know like the clean girl look is in and all with the tight slick back buns and ponytails, but I don't think that's actually healthy for your hair at all. The last out for 2024 for me is not meal planning. Um, girlfriend can have meal ideas in her head but won't plan it and then I'm going to the grocery store like every time I need to make dinner because I don't plan it ahead of time. So yeah, that is an out, not meal planning. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually did not sip on my bone broth once this whole video because I got too excited talking about my ins and outs. So I'm gonna go drink this off camera and I would love to hear your 2024 ins and outs because 
I don't know, every time I read them, they're so random, but so like eye-opening at the same time. So leave them down below. And yeah, I hope you guys have a beautiful new year and I will see you or talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.